All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, I'm gonna answer a very common question that I've been getting a lot recently, which is, hey Ross, when are you taking your fig trees out of winter storage? When are you putting them out there on the patio and beginning your growing season? I'm sure a lot of you guys have them in winter storage right now in zone sevens and sixes and fives and four. Maybe you have them in your garage, your shed, your basement, even maybe in a sunny window in your house, and you wanna get them outside and going. Well, here's the thing. I've got them out here, it's March 23rd, here in the Philadelphia area, I'm in zone 7A, and I feel really confident putting them out here early. This may be actually the earliest I typically put them out, but I don't really recommend it to most of you guys until about your last frost date, um, because certainly these temperatures that could come in or hard frost that might come in late into the, early in the spring or late in the winter time, could damage the new growth of our fig trees. And so you already can see once the fig trees wake up, on the branches are things like brabas. The brabas are the first crop of figs that really only some fig trees produce, but it could be a nice crop for you. Uh, people would certainly rely on it in different parts of the, the, uh, the world. But if that crop gets damaged, well then you lose it. Um, if the new growth gets damaged, well then you're not gonna necessarily lose your main crop of figs, the second crop of figs that forms on that new growth. The trees will then respond if that, that new growth gets damaged. It'll, it'll start to regrow and actually form figs again, but certainly you don't want that, that growth to get damaged. So there are some negatives by doing this, especially early. And as I said, for most of you guys that are new, I wouldn't really recommend it. Or maybe you could even wait two weeks before your average last frost. Or if you had a fig tree, uh, and you're unlike myself and don't have hundreds of fig trees on your patio, um, you could just have one fig tree and then bring it outside, put it out during the day, and if it, you are looking at your forecast, you're predicting something really nasty in the forecast around 25, you're seeing a hard freeze come in, bring it inside, put it inside at night. And this is called the fig shuffle. People do this a lot in really cold places and have been doing it for years to a degree that you would be shocked. People have moved hundreds of fig trees in preparation of something in the forecast that's gonna come in and damage their fig trees. I don't like to do that because I have so many trees. Once they're out here for me, they're out here. But you, you can move them very easily, even just five fig trees in and out of the house on a couple, couple nights here and there for the next month. Um, and that's certainly possible here in the Philadelphia area. I could definitely see a temperature of around 25. We even saw it just the other night but it does depend on a lot of factors of whether or not your trees will actually take damage at 25. Um, certainly, I think about 28 in a light frost, most fig trees, even if they're starting to leaf out, they have leaves on them, really won't be damaged by that. A light frost at about 28 and you're good. I actually have a lot of details on these extreme temperatures or temperature thresholds and frost information on my blog as well, figboss.com. We have a section there that's titled uh, Late Frost. We even have one about early frost. Um, so I've covered pretty much everything over there, but these are definitely the temperature thresholds we need to pay attention to. But if we get them out here, it is a nice biological advantage. And I just wanna mention, uh, that's why I'm doing it so early. And that's why I would recommend it to some of you guys, if you really wanna push your fig tree and get it out here early, you're gonna have more figs typically, and you're gonna have them ripen earlier. And this is definitely a, um, like I said, that metabolic advantage that's gonna activate these fig trees. Once they um, start to wake up and then you have a lot of warm temperatures or let's say even the sun beating on the side of the pot, that's gonna warm up the soil and increase the metabolisms of your trees. And you're gonna have this really big exponential benefit by just having them out here earlier rather than in your garage or your shed or something like that where it's just still rather cold. And so by having them there, like I said, they're gonna wake up, they're gonna leaf out really quickly, they're gonna put out a lot of growth earlier than normal, and they're also gonna then fruit earlier than normal and probably even produce more figs um, throughout the length of your season. So to me, again, it's a big, big nice benefit. This is what I'm doing here in my yard in the Philadelphia area. Like I said, it's March 23rd, and those are the things you need to pay attention to if you're gonna be doing this as well. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you like this one and check out the blog, figboss.com. See you for the next one, all right? Take care.